<clears throat> when President Biden's nominees have been qualified and mainstream, they've received bipartisan cooperation. But the president's choice to head a key division at the Department of Justice as an assistant attorney general failed to even advance out of the committee. The Democratic leader had to reach into the Judiciary Committee and rescue the nomination of Kristen Clark. Our colleagues on the committee did not give her a favorable recommendation. That's because of a long history of statements that placed the nominee on, frankly, the far left fringe of the political spectrum. If our Democratic colleagues have their way, a couple of days from now, the American people will have an assistant attorney general who argued publicly just last year quote, we must invest less in police, end quote. She used that exact phrase three times in one essay. Violent crime shot up dramatically in 2020. One survey of 30 plus major American cities found that the murder rate jumped 30% last year alone. Other estimates have found even larger increases. Experts say 2020 saw the largest one year rise in homicides that America has ever seen, as far back as we have recorded these kinds of statistics. Early data from this year suggests that 2021 may even be worse, but apparently the president's response to this violent crime is to have a proponent of defunding the police help run the Department of Justice. Adequate policing is not an enemy of civil rights. Among other things, a recent study by multiple university professors confirmed that more cops lead to fewer murders. Quote, larger police forces save lives and the lives saved are disproportionately black lives, end quote. Police funding isn't the only important issue where the nominee's judgment has missed the mark. Three years ago, when the then Attorney General was standing up a task force on religious liberty, Ms. Clark said this was designed, quote, <clears throat> to make it easier for people to use religion to mask their discriminatory goals. An incredibly out of touch, far left statement. Finally, we're currently watching an alarming spike in anti-Semitic attacks and violence across our country. I introduced new legislation on Friday with Senator Cotton to confront anti-Semitism head on. But as, the, as a Harvard undergraduate, Ms. Clark invited, welcomed, introduced, and then defended a famously anti-Semitic guest speaker who had authored a book literally entitled, now listen to this, The Jewish Onslaught. The nominee has stated recently that she regrets that decision. Goodness, I would certainly hope so. Yet she also claims that her op-ed from just last year, which asserted three times, three times, that we must invest less in police, was not actually suggesting that we invest less in police. This is not the right nominee for a crucial post at a crucial time. So I would urge colleagues to vote no this week. 